What's up everybody? This is your boy Flip Flop the Clown and this is a Flip Flop update. Flip Flop update. <laughs> uh, today's September 26, 2022 and um, I made a, an update last year on September and this is I'm trying to, trying to I'm gonna try to do one every year. Keep everybody in the loop and on what's going on in my life give you guys an update uh, recap from last update with what's happened and what to expect in the near future from uh, your boy flip flop the clown the original foot fetish clown I've had to uh, uh, catch myself saying that nowadays because uh, there's a lot of copycats out there and apparently <laughs> you know people are starting to copy me and so I have to say that I'm the original foot fetish clown now. You know, I used to be the only <laughs> foot fetish clown. Now I have to say I'm the original, the official foot fetish clown. So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. So I could kiss your feet. <laughs> and I don't want to bore you guys. And I made notes this time. So I could, uh, stay in track and stay focused. On what I'm gonna talk about instead of just run uh, talking out of my ass or something. So as far as the update goes, um, I'm reading this down uh, on my uh, notes here that I wrote. Um, updates: I'm gonna have a, a story time video episode two dropping soon, hopefully this year. If, uh, if you haven't watched episode one, I suggest you do. Go to my YouTube channel and check out Storytime Episode 1. But I'm going to have uh, Episode 2 dropping, hopefully, this year. And it's going to be called uh, my um, uh, my first time eating pussy. I think that's the title. I forgot. <laughs> my first uh, pussy experience. Something like that. And it's, uh, you know, they're semi-animated uh videos true stories about my personal life so i'm gonna have episode two uh coming out soon uh music video for in my shrine hoping to have that out soon hopefully by um sometime the beginning of next year and um it's been a mission just to get that done um I have a couple of songs uh, I've been working on, on and off. So I'm hoping to have those songs out soon. I don't have a date. <laughs> um, I have a song called Beers and Toes. And an, another song called, uh, titled My Special Girl. And a third song titled Cuban Crackers, or Cuban Cracker. And uh, most likely Beers and Toes will be up soon uh hopefully this year or sometime early next year and it's just a, a song about drinking beers and sucking toes and um i don't know about the other two songs my special girl and cuban cracker i really don't have much written i, just, I think i just have the title <laughs> the hook <laughs> but uh beers and toes i have a, a good amount of it done and that's most likely going to be out uh, before the other other songs. And um, we have uh, well, well, I have more story time videos already uh, pre-made. I don't know when they'll be out. To be honest with you, but I already have them recorded. Um, I had a huge top secret project that I haven't told any. I think I've only told like two or three people in my life. And one of those people is dead already. So this is, <laughs> this is how top secret this project is. And um, yeah, I, I, I try to be very discreet about my, my, my projects because uh, people tend to copy me a lot for some reason. I don't know why. But in the past, I've, uh, I've caught people just... Uh, you know, just fucking copying my shit, and and that's why I, I tend to be very discreet and try not to leak too much information about projects that I'm working on. Um, 
I'm ho- I'm hoping to make a another public appearance, ho- hopefully around Halloween, because I love uh, Halloween. <laughs> so I'm hoping to uh, uh, go to some Halloween party or something as Flip Flop the Clown. Hopefully I'll get some toes. You never know. And oh, January of next year would be my 10 year anniversary. That's right. Uh, January 16th to be exact so January 16th 2013 was my first was day one of flip-flop the clown and you could find photos of me uh, and my website uh, from from January 16 2013 on if you go to my website flip-flop the clown.com and you go to the photo gallery there's an album called selfies and you'll find some uh, some uh, some photos of me of, that were taken on that date January 16 2013 and you know I, I didn't know I was gonna still be around doing flip-flop the clown <laughs> 10 years later so January of uh, 2023 will be my ch- uh, 10 year anniversary anniversary January 16th it will be my 10 year anniversary so that's that's uh that's big for me you know that's just i've grown a lot <laughs> you know i didn't used to make a dime of flip flop the clown not one dime now i'm making a little bit of money as flip flop the clown nothing to brag about you know still need a still need a nine to five but <laughs> you know it's progress and so on there's progress and, and people that want to uh, see more of your content, then you know, just have fun and stick around with it, you know. And what else? Oh, and I'm planning to drop a new blog post for my anniversary on January 16th. Let me see my notes here. Yeah, January 16th. Um, I'm planning to drop a new blog post. On, on that date you know like a thank you to uh, you know for sticking around you know some fresh new content and uh, you know I'm not gonna tell you what the blog post is gonna be about or anything but um, you know uh, uh, um, I'm just gonna tell you this it's gonna go more into my uh, my personal life and and then it'll tie into what you see now as flip-flop the clown so you'll get a better understanding who I am and why I behave the way I do um, so yeah those are the updates on what to expect from me um, in the near future like I said hopefully this year or sometime uh, early next year um, but yeah I don't I don't have an, uh, an exact date on anything it just <laughs> You know, it is what it is. I'm a, I'm a one man show, basically. Um, recap. So uh, here I'm gonna talk about recap. Just I'm just gonna recap uh, everything that's uh, been happening with me as flip flop the clown since last time I made a a flip flop flip flip flop update video, which was uh, last year September of last year. Um. So since then, I was on the big screen. Yeah, I was on the big screen in the movie theaters for some reason. <laughs> it was uh, it was just it was just in select uh, movie theaters. It wasn't on all the movie theaters. Um, it was just for I think for a couple of days, uh, and it was for a documentary titled "The The United States of Insanity." It was a 2021 documentary that was filmed that was for last year and basically I was just there for a split second like uh, if you if you blink you'll miss me <laughs> That's, they just put my my uh, video clip of me towards the end of the of the documentary and in fact you don't even have to watch the, the documentary you just watch the the trailer <laughs> the movie trailer for the documentary and you'll you'll see me in the trailer just try not to blink during the trailer <laughs> split second I mean like really quick 
but you know the big screen is the big screen so it counts you know <laughs> so and what else happened oh then i went to the new year's eve party at the sausage castle uh here in central florida had a great time um went there with my friends big la um rabbit casper all my friends and uh you know i always have a good time every time i go to the to the members only parties at the sausage castle and you can find all the video footage and and photos of that on my website flipflopdeclown.com under the video gallery and, and photo gallery you'll find all that all that content and um oh then i and i dropped my episode one of story time and everybody loved it you know if you guys if you haven't seen episode one of story time uh how i lost my virginity to a dominatrix that's the, the title of the video uh man i suggest you go watch it i have I, ha I posted it everywhere on social media you can find it on my youtube on my on my website and pe the the feedback i got from that was incredible people just loved it they thought it was funny entertaining and it's all based on a true story of my personal life and you know the the the, the best the funny part of, about it is not really much how i lost my virginity it's just what happened that surrounded that you know the people's reaction and everyone you know that was part of the story so it's just you know i'm not gonna tell you okay i want you to watch it but if you haven't watched it check it out and like i said earlier i'm planning to have episode two of story time dropping sometime this year i'm just basically waiting on the animator to finish doing the animation um what else um oh i dropped uh, a blog post titled uh, i'm no longer a juggalo so something like that i completely forgot the <laughs> the exact title but uh, i dropped a, a blog post back in march of this year talking about that i'm no longer a juggalo and i got a lot of mixed reviews about it from the juggalo community a lot of people hate it what i had to say a lot of people loved and supported what i had to say and basically told me oh, you're you're 100 right and that's exactly how i've been feeling this whole time i just haven't had the balls to say it <laughs> so um you know you know and i'll go more into i'll talk about that later or oh, the, the the negative backlash and all everything that happened after i dropped that article because it really it really uh pushed a lot of people's buttons apparently in the juggler community and what else happened oh i i was uh in two uh podcasts foot fetish related podcasts uh well i was mentioning one of them uh, uh the podcast is called plenty of feet podcast and they uh they played my feet on my face uh music video the lyric music video and they reacted to it and then recently i was on another foot fetish podcast called oh those toes podcast and i was I, they interviewed me and it was like about an hour long and it was it was great you know it was uh i talk about a lot of my about my origin story about my backstory and everything and and the lady that was interviewing me she had her feet in the camera and and i was uh i was just losing my mind <laughs> so check check that out it was recently if you haven't checked that out i suggest you uh look them up on youtube it's called all those toes podcast and and check it out um i have a link of it on my youtube channel and and everywhere so check it out uh, and i promise you it's going to be entertaining <laughs> and informative as well um what else uh as far as recap oh and i recently made some public appearances again in central florida with my friends uh big la rabbit casper my, you know it's just uh they're great people i love them and um i went out to central florida and i went to an uh a daytime event called 
Florida Summer Jams and uh, a nighttime event uh, in a place called the Castle. And uh, the Castle is uh, is it a fetish nightclub. And you know, I just went did my thing. Uh, had my face paint on. I was uh, on a leash, sucking some boots, <laughs> cleaning, cleaning some boots, doing a cleaning service. <laughs> So I uh, had a great time and again all that content you can find it on my website flipflopthecloun.com uh, Just go to the video gallery and, and the photo gallery and you can find all that stuff and you can View it and download it for free and jack off to it or do whatever the fuck you want with it <laughs> for free you know and um, What else what else what else? Man, I'm sure glad I did notes. I'm like moving fast through this I think <laughs> Oh, moving forward from this point on, you know, I'm, I'm uh, my strategy, strat, strategy is to have post, put everything on my website first, uh, flipflopthecloud.com, have everything on there. Uh, I have I already have all my content uploaded there. 100% of my content is finally up on my website. It took years to get everything I've had scattered all over the internet on various social media platforms and porn sites and just things that people have been sent uh, videos video clips and photos people have been sending me over the years I've had scattered everywhere on my computer on my iPad and my cell phone and I finally after so many years <laughs> me working on my website finally uh, I have a hundred percent of my content content uploaded on my website and moving forward I just I'm gonna upload everything onto my website first that's the the idea and then once I have everything uploaded on my website um, I'll grab uh, bits and pieces and share it on social media I won't I won't share everything on social media like I used to back in the day because uh, things have changed on social media uh, every every uh, every year or every I think it's every day uh, every so often they're updating their community guidelines and they're basically trying to keep people like me away <laughs> from being a content creator they're trying to eliminate uh, content creators like me that uh, create um, uh, content that's considered to be taboo con content or adult content or whatever buzzword you want to use and I think they're all trying to go towards a family friendly environment and trying to keep everything family friendly so uh, you won't see much uh, uh, much of my uh, new content uh, up on social media just bits and pieces uh, in fact I, I even deleted I went even I went ahead and deleted all of my old content from social media. Well, not all of it, but most of it, like ninety percent of it, in attempts to try to uh, just uh, comply with you know the community guidelines. I just I just got sick and tired of getting threatened by Facebook and Instagram and all these platforms that they're gonna shut me down because uh, I show too many toes or something. I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm too sexy. So, um, you know, so yeah, from uh, moving forward, it's mostly gonna, all of my content is going to be on my website. If you, if you go to my website, you just on the home page, you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a, a mailing list you can sign up to if you want to get notified. Uh, but just bookmark my website, please bookmark my website, flipflopthecloud.com, bookmark it on your browser. And just get used to visiting my website because that's where you're gonna find all of my content. 100% of my content is there, um, and it, it's not because I want it this way. This is how social media forces me and, and content creators like me to do to go about. You know, they're trying to shut us down, and I'm not gonna let that happen. So um, that's what's gonna happen moving forward. And um, uh, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is, oh yeah, so that blog post that I mentioned that I I, I wrote on back in March of this year, 2022, 
title. And I'm no longer a juggalo. Um, this and that. And, um, I don't know if you've read it already. If you, if you haven't read the blog post, I suggest you go and uh, read it. Um, you know, it's on my website, flipflopdeclown.com. And uh, it's the I haven't wrote in, I haven't written in anything else after that, so it's the latest blog post you'll find there. And uh, it just got a lot of a lot of uh, uh, mixed reviews from the Juggalo community because of it. Because you know, I, I, I said it how it is. You know, I told the truth. I kept it 110 percent, kept it real. And um, you know, if you're not from the Juggalo community. You won't. Uh, I mean, I try to write write it in a way that anyone can can understand what I'm talking about, regardless if you're in the juggle community or not. But yeah, I, I pushed a lot of people's buttons, and when I dropped the when I when I published the the blog post, I I I published it on a, on a Monday intentionally because I really did not want to make a, a big deal about it. You know, I wanted it to go under the radar about it in fact before i even published the blog post um <clears throat> like back in back in 2019 when i i decided not to be a, a juggalo anymore not not associate myself with juggalos because be honest with you man people who, who call themselves jugglers nowadays they're, they're a bunch of shitheads and i don't want to be associated with shitheads they're pieces of shits they're assholes they're fake hypocrites they they talk about family this and that when you see them at, at these events but in reality all they do is they they bully and harass other juggalos on social media all year long you go to any juggalo social media page and and you read the comments and it's just they're just assholes bullying and harassing themselves all year long and then they have the balls show up at these events and, and being a fuck and start being a fucking hypocrite screaming out family i mean uh since when has being an asshole on the internet and then giving out fake smiles in the real world has become the norm like <laughs> did i miss something like can i not get a memo or, or like i don't know what happened but uh i would go to these events and then like people would just be fake as fuck you know and and yeah, like like last last event I went to was at the the music festival, the gathering of the juggalos, and um, you know every ten minutes people would just approach me, say hi, and uh, offer me their feet, and uh, or take a photo with me, and then it was um, overwhelming because I'm not used to all that attention in my personal life, but uh, either uh, you. Uh, either way, I, you know, I, I tried to be respectful and, and thankful and grateful to the people that did approach me, right? And um, when the event was over, half of those people would just turn around and backstab me on social media and start making up bullshit lies about me. Go, oh, flip off the clown, break my toes. I'm like, sir, I, I don't even know you. Would you, you could have break my toes if you wanted to. Just say. But, you know, it's just, they're cloud chasers, bro. It's like... You know, when it's cool to hang out with Flip Flop the Clown at, at, at an event, you know, they're first in line to kiss my ass and take a picture with me. And then, and then when the event's over and, and then w when it's cool to just talk shit about me and, and drag my name down the mud, they're first in line to do that as well. So they're just, just fucking fake ass people. And, and I'm not saying they're all like that, but most of today's juggalos uh, do behave that way. And, and they're just a bunch of shitheads. So, um, you know, I, I said all that and plus more, it was like a 30 page essay on this blog post and, uh, pissed a lot of people off and guess what they did? They did exactly what I said they were going to do. They got online and they started talking shit, <laughs> hating this and that. Uh, and, and at the end you just promoted, uh, my blog post even more and, and, uh, and proved my point <laughs> the irony you know so um uh it is what it is so uh yeah that's 
that's that. If you haven't read the blog post, please read it entirely. Don't don't be a shithead and lazy ass and just read the title <laughs> and assume things. Read the whole thing. And yeah, man, that's those are my updates. That's my recap. Oh, there's a hur apparently there's a hurricane co coming to South Florida. Hurricane uh, Ian or Ian. I don't know how you read it. <laughs> Ian or Ian. It depends how you how you read. <laughs> if you read upside down like me, it's probably Ian, or maybe it's Ian. Uh, technically, it's currently a tropical storm at this point, from what I understand. And and a few days from now, uh, it's it's gonna be considered a hurricane, and it's gonna be hitting me, where I live in South Florida. So. I'm probably gonna be dead <laughs> not gonna be able to do any of these updates that I'm promising you guys so now nah, but don't worry you know we get uh, we already know how to deal with hurricanes here in South Florida we do hurricane parties and we do a lot of Santeria that keeps uh, <laughs> during the hurricane parties that keeps uh, the hurricanes away you know her uh, we also have hurricane shuttles and a bunch of stuff we get you know we get months notice to prepare for a hurricane so we're good. We'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know, I'm a Floridian. I'm good. Don't worry. <laughs> I suck toes. <laughs> Enough said. And I just want to thank you all for sticking around 10 years uh, this January. And, you know, I'm blessed to still be doing this for 10 years, you know. And um, I'm just having fun. And, and I'm my, my entire goal is to... Just change people's mindset about uh, the foot fetish community and and you know the, the fetish community in, in general and hopefully encourage more people to come out of the closet and <laughs> and not be afraid to be themselves and yeah and, and hopefully someday I could I could do this for a living <laughs> I could be flip flop the clown twenty four seven it'll be my livelihood <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I'm pushing forward and, uh, thank you all for listening and, uh, go suck some toes and, and stay young. <laughs> Love ya.